on the X. <laughs> he ain't eating no more. Got the R. <laughs> All right, one more. So it's my second time at the gun range. RJ brought me about a year ago, and it's always a fun time. It's definitely an interesting experience. We don't do that often. But uh, thank you very much, RJ. You're welcome. I feel like someone's gonna ask, what kind of gun was that? It is a Glock 19, a Gen 4, and a 9mm. There you go. And what kind of gun range would it be without a giant American flag? <laughs> okay, so, RJ and I just stopped at Nissan right before they closed. You can't tell it's Nissan, but it's Nissan. And I was able to pick up the gaskets I needed for the transmission. It wasn't that expensive, it was like 28 bucks for three gaskets. You can't beat it. And also in there, the, the service manager happens his son has to be a subscriber. His name is Ryan, so shout out to you, Ryan. Shout out to Ryan and Ray, man. Dude, your dad's a badass. So, we'll bring you some stickers next time. Get a Fox body instead of a 240. <laughs> but we gotta get down to the shop because I gotta take apart my transmission. Let's do it. He forgot that we were going to be supposed to be here as well. All right, so my, oh my, you're the worst. <laughs> so, my trans adapter finally came in. So this adapter plate allows me to run the VG stock Z32 tranny on the SR20 motor. Now it works out better this way because essentially everything behind the firewall is gonna be stock. So I can use stock drive shaft, stock shifter location, stock training mount. Makes my life a lot easier and that trans is a way stronger than an SR trans so it's a better upgrade for it. Anyways, so I was hoping to get this thing last week but the company I ordered it from was at the PRI Auto Show and so they weren't in house at all last week. So this is basically gonna bolt like right here but we're gonna have to get the bell housing machined so this plate actually recesses in. So I'm gonna have to take this whole thing apart and then basically chop fully in and out of this bell housing. All right, I'm honestly not looking forward to separating this. There might still be some fluid in here. I guess we'll find out the hard way. So the first thing we gotta do, so we gotta remove this piece first, I guess. So the next thing we gotta do is remove this cover right here. These are all kind of pretty loose already. Oh, what is that? Well, good thing I just ordered that gasket. I guess the next thing we gotta do is take off this clip right here. See this little C-clip? And then this clip right here on the main bearing. This is gonna suck. Snap rings are probably my least favorite thing ever. It goes, oh, sales are booming? Yes! Yeah. I realize your camera is recording. I know. <laughs> all right, let's put these off to the side so I do not lose them. Right, so now we gotta undo all these 14 millimeter bolts around the casing, and it should come out with a little bit of force. <sighs> Here we go. It's about time. Oh. Incredible. Boom. Definitely was not a fan of that. Yeah, so this training was basically full when I took it apart. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. But here we go. This is the core. This is basically where the magic happens. I'm going to spend some time and expect all the gears, but quickly looking at them, the synchro is a little rough, but it doesn't look broken. <laughs> Um, I think we're all set. This should be good. I really don't know the condition of this tranny, but I guess uh, I'll find out eventually. Now this is the piece that we basically have to bring to a bridge port and uh, have them chop a bunch of aluminum out of it. And I really, really need to get you some pig mats from work. Yeah, I made a mess. Oh yeah. Oopsie. I got my whole mess cleaned up. It took a while, but RJ hooked it up with some piggy pads. I think these are what they're called. I don't know what they're called, but these work really well. Thank you, RJ. But. Bell housing is now off. I cleaned it as much as I really can while the surface is. 
So now what I have to do is I have to get this put on a bridge port and get it milled. Basically, get half of this milled down so my adapter plate recesses in and we should be all set. Luckily, I have a good friend that has a bridge port and he happens to be around tonight, so we're gonna bang it out tonight. All right, let's get this bagged up and down to a shop. I'm really, really excited about this, but I'm also extremely nervous. Hopefully it works out. We made it to my buddy Nils' shop. It's pretty cool in here, it's my first time. Alyssa's car is here. Alyssa, if you're watching this, I'm gonna fart in your driver's seat. Yeah, you are. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're working with today. This is a good old fashioned bridge port. You nervous? Uh, no. <laughs> Bell housing strapped down on the table. We got the adapter plate on in place, so now we're gonna mark it where to machine it down to. Measure this up, clean it up, start milling. is doing a shit ton of passes, basically a couple mils at a time until we get down to about the half inch. It's super tedious and it kind of sucks, but it'll be worth it. We'll get it done. We'll get it done. So we're gonna take a break from the milling for now. For some reason they have a 75 ton press. And so we're gonna press a few things as you what happens. I'm like actually kind of excited. We're gonna do a nice test run and we're gonna crush an oil filter. Well, we got a new ashtray. No, That's actually yet. perfect. That is a, look at that dude. Oil filter ashtrays, wow. $10.99. Oh my god, dude. That's perfect. All right, well, let's crush this head. Put a valve job in this thing. <laughs> what is this head from, dude? A uh, CRF 50. All right, we're gonna put in work on this thing. All right. Hold on, let me set this camera up so I don't get popped. <laughs> So much for a valve job. I think we did good, what do you mean? Someone give me some flex tape. Dude, that was sick! I saw a piece of flame. No <laughs> I'm pretty sure son hit the beamer too. Oh dude. I found some 1JZ twin turbos, let's blow them up. Literally. Like a two piece manifold, I wanna see if he, this gentleman can do that. Since that last crush almost destroyed the camera, I'm gonna use a helmet as a shield. What happened? Oh, we broke the turbo studs. Yeah. Right not off. Cool. Not even cool. <laughs> not as cool as I was hoping. Yeah. For the sake of science. Yeah. That shit's cracked right now. All right, Nils, what do we make it to? 30 tons? Yeah, about 30 tons. So. Stock 1J turbos definitely won't hold up to our satisfaction, but <laughs> I think I can send this out for rebuild, to yeah, be honest. Dude, dude, this is mint. There's minimum. Oh, look, the shaft blade went away, actually. 
Easy access to weld the wastegate shut, so if you want to put an external on her. Beautiful. Yeah. Scrap. We fully milled down the plate, as you can see. This is the same height, if you'll focus. There's a few holes we have to drill to complete the plate, so we're gonna bolt it in place and then go from there. Any find any dam instructions online, we're gonna assume we need to mill this out for the starter, so we're just gonna kinda take a chunk out. Plate safe. Win it out, grind it out. Alright, so we milled a little chunk out for the starter right here. I think we should be all set. I found some pictures online of other people that did it and they did the exact same thing. So should we we should be all set. So Nils, thank you again, homie. You got it. Really appreciate it. Alright, so the bell housing seems to be all machined up. I hope that all works out. It was really cool to be able to go to my buddy's shop and just do some rough machining on it, and I think it came out pretty good. So I think I still have to drill a few holes in the bell housing to make them a little bit a little bit bigger but I'll figure that out tomorrow. So hopefully I can get the whole trans back together tomorrow. It's gonna be a pain in the ass, but I think I can handle it. Uh, we gotta, I gotta spend a lot of time cleaning out the trans now because it's obviously a crap ton of metal shavings in it. So I'm gonna call it a night. It's late, we got a lot done. I hope you guys liked today's video of us machining aluminum, shooting guns, and crushing things with a hydraulic press. So you guys know, if you guys wanna support the build off, I have two new short shirts on the design. Cop yourself some merch. Every dollar that comes off of the website goes straight into the build-off car. And I really need a leg up because Tommy has just been cashing out on the Sylvia. So, so if you guys now, go outside, wrench on your car, have a great day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.